Hey folks, it's Charles, the popular inventor and product developer at the home of the BioBlaster ozone generators. I'm standing in front of one of our large commercial ozone generators designed for wastewater processing, food processing, and any other large volume water processing needs. And I'm here at this gigantic industrial wastewater processing facility where they take oily wastewater from a variety of industries and they filter out all of the oil, process all the water, and their old ozone generator has gone the way of the dodo bird. So I'm gonna show you what their old machine looks like and why they're replacing it with our newer, more modern equipment. Folks, what does a 100,000 per hour, milligram per hour generator cell, that's a whopping 100 grams of ozone look like? Well, folks, you can see it over here. It is approximately three and a half feet tall and about four inch diameter, mirror polished stainless steel. And that is the heart of our generator cell. And if you want to see inside it, you can see that giant piece of mirror polished steel. And I'll open the other half of the cabinet and let you see inside as well. So inside at the top, we have our uh, transformer. We have our circuitry and control panels. Behind on the back side, we have our built-in oxygen concentrator and the air compressors are at the bottom. This is a rugged, contractor grade, industrial model that can be used for ozonating water for washing floors, walls, sanitizing food processing centers, sanitizing or effluvial waste discharge from sewage plants, treating industrial hydroponic systems. There are a thousand applications for high volume industrial ozone generation. And again, here at the BioBlaster, we've pioneered rugged industrial ozone generators that you can rely on and that can be serviced right here in America. Don't take my word for it. Invest in one for your business today. Now, how does it work? Well, the ozone that's generated by filtering the water through the molecular sieve comes out through the ozone generating hose and it goes into this. This is called a maze injector. There's a couple ways to get water uh, and ozone to mix. One of the common ways is to bubble the ozone through a stone. You see that in our smaller uh, ozone generators for uh, treating, um, you know, glasses of water or bathtubs or, or, you know, fruits and vegetables. But if you're doing an industrial application, you need that ozone gas to mix with the water. And so the way that we do it is we suck the ozone into the venturi via the venturi effect through this maze injector. And then it is connected to an ozone mixing device, which is a solid state moving part free mixing mixer. And what it does is it turns and it shears all of those gas bubbles over and over and over again, mixing them with the water, mixing them with the ozone to get virtually 100% contact of gas and your, your water fluid. It's an amazing, amazing way to, to get full contact of the ozone with the fluid that it's being injected into. And if you have an industrial ozone need, uh, we stand behind everything we build 110%. Thanks so much. So folks, this is their old ozone generator. It's just over my shoulder here. And it's comprised of two parts. You have this lower unit, which is just a glorified air compressor. And on the other side here, we have our ozone generator, which uh, has failed to function. We can see the generator cell is broken. It's gone from the inside. And this machine made around 35 grams of ozone an hour, but it did it using compressed air rather than using a pure oxygen input. And you can see the ozone uh, comes out here and it goes down into this 
improper non-venturi way to inject the ozone into these large industrial tanks. And so what we've done is we've replaced this old outdated machine with one of our new oxygen concentrator fed 100,000 milligram per hour industrial water machines. So if you have a need for large industrial volumes of ozone, do what this company did here in Southern Ohio, replace it with a high-tech bioblaster.